What's going on YouTube? Nathan Great back again here with another MTG Arena video and today I am playing a deck that has absolutely no rares or mythic in it. Um, it is a completely budget friendly deck so if you guys are budget players this is the deck for you I promise. If you're trying to rank up um, and you are a budget player this is the deck for you and that is going to be Boros Cycling. Now I will go over a couple cards that you can add to the deck guys if you have the rares um, to kind of make it a little bit better but as it is right now, this deck is a very good deck and it has no rares in it. So we will go over it very quickly and then we will hop into some games. So now, the, the whole point of this deck is this card right here, Zenith Flare. Oh, I took one out. I'll have to have one back in. <laughs> Z so it says, it's an instant for four. Zenith Flare deals X damage to any target and you gain X life, where X is the number of cards with cycling ability in your graveyard. So the whole point of this deck is to cycle, cycle, cycle pretty much all of your cards and then kill your opponent with your Zenith Flares. Now there is a couple ways the other, the couple uh, more ways the deck can win, um, but mainly this is our main win con. So um, pretty much you really aren't going to cast anything in the deck, almost. Um, you guys can see I'm running blue cards. I have no blue mana. I have no intention of casting these cards. The only thing that I'm using these cards for is their cycling costs. I just want to cycle them, okay? Including, so startling development. Ambush and the Boon, I never cast them, ever. Um, another cards that I hardly ever cast, I never, I have, I don't think I've ever cast Footfall Crater. The only thing I could think of that you would want to cast this card is if you had a really large, excuse me guys, uh, Flourishing Fox that you wanted to get trampled. Otherwise, never cast this card, always cycle. Go for Blood. I don't think I've ever cast this card, just just there for cycling. Um, Geranith Healer, this is one that you could cast. I personally don't like it. Um, we are an aggro deck, guys. We're planning to kill the opponent as fast as we can with our Zenith Flares. Um, so I hardly ever cast this card. I just cycle it. <laughs> the only cards that I really ever cast are going to be Flourishing Fox, which is a great turn one play for you guys. Um, if you have it in your hand. And says it, it basically just grows whenever you, whenever you cycle. So it's a great aggro creature. If your opponent can't deal with it right away and you can cycle and make it bigger, it can just win the game outright. Uh, Valiant Rescuer. This is the only card with cycling two. Um, if we want to cycle it. So it's a little bit more expensive to cycle, but I think it's worth it because um, it is going to make an army of 1-1 one, one white soldier human or human soldier creature tokens whenever you cycle. So uh, it, it only does it once per turn, but it's still really good, um, especially if you need some to buy you some time to cycle some more so that you can kill your opponent with the player. Makes a lot of good blockers. And then the last one that I actually sometimes cast is Dranith Stinger. Um, this is basically the opposite of the healer. Instead of healing you one, um, it's going to deal one damage to your opponent when you cycle. So since we are an aggro deck, I end up casting the Stinger a lot more than I cast the Healer because, um, you know, those extra points of damage can matter when you finally get to cast your Zenith Flares. So as it is right now, guys, zero rare deck. And you can grind to Mythic with this deck. I will, it's not the number one deck in the standard or anything, but you can definitely grind to Mythic with this deck, guys. Uh, I'm going to go over a couple things that you can put in the deck um, to spice it up a little bit if you have the rares. So we do have one Dr Lurus of the Dream Den. You can run this card as your com um, companion. Um, it does add a little bit of flavor because you can get things back from your graveyard, but again, you don't need it. Needle Verge Pathway. Um, these are always just to spice up the lands a little bit. Needle Verge Pathway, um, pretty simple. You just make your mana base a little bit better. Same with Temple of Triumph, Rogger and Triumph. And you can even put Evolving Wilds in there if you don't have the Wind Scarred Crag and don't want to craft it. So those are just some ways that you can kind of improve the deck, but none of these are necessary. You can totally play the deck right as um, as I am playing it today with absolutely zero rares. So hopefully I can prove to you guys today that this deck can will and will um, eventually rank to Mythic if you play it enough. So let's add that Zenith player back in. Let's move my head. Probably going to ask me to save the deck. Yep. We will save the deck. All right, guys, let's get into a game. All right, no red mana, but we can, we have cycling guys, so I'm not too scared. Once a Yorian. So we're going to put pressure on them right away with a fox. Uh, like I said, guys, this deck, uh, the only deck that this deck is particularly weak to, yeah, I figured they might have that, um, would be the um, 
it's pretty weak against um, just decks with counter spells because if our Zenith Lair gets countered, um, we don't have a whole lot of other support. We can like Stinger and you know try to beat them out with boxes, but our main uh, line of um, you know offense is the Flare. So, all right. So what do I play here? I guess the Windscar Crags, and then we play the Cycle. And we pass. Well, it holds open mana. Alright, cycle with the development. Draw another land. Alright, so now I think we're just planning on beating them with uh, cycling with our Zenith players. So um, I'm not going to play any of these creatures, actually. I think they'll just die. I'm pretty sure. Uh, since opponents are Yorian deck, I'm sure they have quite a bit of removal. So I'm just going to cycle all of these and plan to beat them with Yorian. Yep. You do that, my friend, my friend. You do that. So. You do have to kind of know what deck you're up against to know whether to play out your creatures or cycle them. Alright. And we're just going to keep on cycling, guys. Like for instance, I'm against a control deck right now, so I'm not playing out my creatures. I'm just putting. I'm just. Oh, frick. Okay, not good. That card is very good against. Us. Hmm. Yeah, that card's really good against us because it takes our Zenith Flares and it can exile our graveyard. So what do I do here? I think I might maybe I just hold and not try to cycle. And then we Zenith Flare next turn. Yeah, I think that's the play, because otherwise our graveyard is going to be exiled. So they'll get to take one of the footfall craters, which is fine. So we'll Zenith Flare their face right now. They'll take one of the craters. So just the, kind of the reason why I did that, guys, is just because this is going to exile the graveyard. We could have gotten down, them down pretty low if we the last turn and then played the Zenith Flare. And they're going to blink their Nightmare. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Through a land, of course. I still think we don't play anything out here. If we hit a Zenith, their opponent's going to be able to take it, so. Yep, I don't think we play anything there. Again, this card is just um, a really a big bane in the side of our deck here. So, fortunate that opponent um, had that there. Hopefully, we're, we're, we're just hoping they don't have another one. Through another freaking land. That's the turn. We'll start cycling once. Um, the Nightmare goes off and exiles our graveyard again. Two to the top. Uh oh. Don't hit another Nightmare. Yep, attacks with the Orion. Through a. Okay. Tome isn't too bad for us. It gives them a lot of card draw, though. 
All right, so now we start cycling again. And hopefully we don't hit just, um, you know, a million land. So far, so good. All right, we'd love to draw a Zenith Flare right about now. All right, where are the Zenith Flares in the deck? <laughs> 35 cards left, three Zenith Flares in there. Opponent draws with the Tome. Blessing to draw three more. All right. All right. Cycle the fox. At this point, we're just trying to hit zenith flares. Oh my gosh. All right. Last three draws have been land. Crossveil Ambush, yep, cycle that. Gosh, wow. Where are the Zenith players here? And I'm going to put stops in so we don't give up that um, we don't have any cycling cards in our hand. From the opponent? Okay, well that doesn't actually affect us that much. I think we're just even to board wipe, but I am getting a little scared of our life total there. We need to draw a Zenith Flare fast. That is for sure. Yep, healer. Opponent didn't attack with the Yorin, which is kind of weird. Just keep cycling. We're just hoping to hit a player eventually here. Gosh, wow, okay. 28 cards in the deck, three flares. I mean, uh, we have 11 cycling cards in our graveyard. Opponent might, uh, can probably uh, hit the Ugin next turn. Draws a card with the Tome, yep. Crossbale Ambush. Cool, I just want to draw a Zenith Flare here. Yep, now I rescue a cycle. There's a Flare, it's only for 13 though. Oh, okay. So opponent's going to get to... Oh, one damage off. Okay. Opponent will get to ultimate the Ugin. So we'll pass it on over to the opponent. They might try to go for lethal here, but I think they should be... Uh, Ultimating the Yugen here. Yep, they do. It's going to make it hard to kill them, that's for sure. We need to, to draw another Zenith Flare. We've gone most of the game without drawing any of them. I mean, I think we only have about... One, mm, I'd say about half of our deck is land. Oh my goodness. Alright, just put a whole bunch of stuff on the battlefield. Draws with the tome to gain more life. I'll be down to two after this. We definitely Zenith throw the opponent right here. We want to keep mana open for next turn. Moment of the Forge in response, sure. Okay, so opponent had that all along. Oh. 
game hurts. That game definitely hurts. Man, we just did not draw any Neathers at all until the very last minute, really. And the opponent had that. The uh, Elspeth's Nightmare is just a card that really, really, really beats on our deck. It's probably the, it's probably one of the best cards in the entire standard against our deck, um, because it not only takes our Zenith Flares away from us, but it exiles our graveyard. So that one's a tough one to swallow. But shake it off, get to the next game, right? Up against Orshida. Mm, a lot of land in this hand. We're on the play, though. I think I still keep. We might... I really am just hoping that we don't flood out. Let's see what type of deck the opponent is. Looks like green well, love shark beast. Yep. <laughs> Can't play first, guys. Ugh, land. Alright. Do I play this uh, Stinger? Is the question here. I think so. It puts a blocker on the battlefield. One well, might have a Bone Crusher Giant for it, but... I'm also not the most experienced cycling player myself, guys, so... Mountain from the opponent. Looks like they do have a Bone Crush Giant. Their draw is flawless. Yes, they do. Fire Proxy. Mm -hmm. One drop, two drop, three drop from the opponent in the Love's Beast. And we drew land, of course. And we're just planning on cycling. We'll bluff like we have a removal spell, I guess, here. Opponent took three. That's nice. Play is an innkeeper and Grimrock Knight? Shieldbreaker, okay. Well, I'm kind of happy about that, honestly. It's a beast, which means. Won't be taking as much damage as I thought next turn. Alright, we need to not draw land deck, please. This is one Zenith Flare. Get this crag out of the way. And we'll pass it on over to the opponent. It might look like we're behind in this game, but really, guys, when you consider the land from the flare, we're not behind that much, especially if we, you know, don't flood out from here. Yep. Four. Cycle, you go for blood. Draw another land. Alright. Just keep cycling. Drew, we have drawn nine lands now and nine non lands, so pretty bad flood right now. Our deck is definitely not 50 50. <laughs> Gonna need this life gain from the flare though. Well, I have an Embercleave here. If they put it on the beast, we're just dead, which I don't think we could really. We, we couldn't afford to spend the. You know, oh my gosh. <sighs> this has been a beating so far, guys. Opponent has had a perfect draw. Gosh. 
All right. Well, nothing we could do against that. Jeez. What do you do? Ambigubot. Hopefully this will be a little bit of a better matchup for us. Keep. One with Luris, they could be rogues. Looks like it. Yep, rogues. So we just need to draw our Xenu flares now. <laughs> Start cycling. I'm not playing the Fox because I'm sure they have lots of removal for it. There's one Zenith Flare. Um, opponent will mill us, which is actually good. Mill Zenith Flares. Nice. There's a couple more cycling cards in the graveyard. They're already holding mana open. Okay, I'm assuming they have a Thought Thief. Um, let's cycle the Starling Development. Draw land, cycle the crater. All right, I'm gonna play the other frag here. Could be setting up for double stinger next turn. Not totally sure if I'm supposed to play that or not. If I'm being honest with you guys. All right, no flares gone there. They were to mill four more. Still no flare. Nice. A lot of land in there. Draw another crag. So we found all four of those this game. <laughs> Alright, so Xenoflare hits for eight right now. Are we supposed to do that? Um, honestly, guys, I think here I'm going to play the Stingers. This might be wrong, but if we start playing Stingers, that's two damage every time we cycle. Opponent has to answer that, right? I'm gonna buy Lurus. Mill us again. There's one, there goes a Xenon player right there. Mill us four more. Alright. Down to 14. Draw an untapped land. So that means we can cycle before the Xenon player, which is nice. Opponent did give us a window here because they don't have counter magic up. So we're, we'll definitely take it. Let's play our Zenith Flare. Take two. And we will Zenith Flare their face. Down to four. Actually, down to an effective two from the Stingers. Unless they had an Enforcer there. Luris from the opponents. Okay, are they? Can they kill us? Can they? I mean, I guess they were trying. They're trying to mill us. There goes. There goes another flare. One left in the deck. But if we cycle, they're just dead. So. All right. It beats rogues, guys. <laughs> it beats rogues. Quick game too. Double tap land again? You gotta be kidding me. We'll keep it though. White land from the opponent. <clears throat> Pass the turn. Their mono white life gain, which is hard for us to embrace, that's for sure. And we can't draw a land. Nice. All right, well, we definitely need to hit our land drop. That would be helpful. Game, please. <clears throat> I've flooded out in so many other games. Thank you. A 
that's the turn here. We have a lot of Zenith Flares, that's for sure. We actually kind of don't want this many of them early in the game. We just... Yeah. It's going to be hard to kill the opponent, that's for sure. I'll tell you that. They're going to gain a lot of life. They are going to gain a lot of life. And we have drawn three lands in a row now. We kind of just have to focus on cycling as hard as we can, I think, here. Give our Zenith Flares, um, you know, with as much as they, they can. All right. One's going to gain a lot of life, though. All seed? Yep. Yep, gain some more life. Down to 15. Alright. Through a Frost Ale ambush. Gotta cycle that. Through a land. Mmm. Mmm. I think we have to get our Zenith Flares up for more than that. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna keep cycling. We could have played a Zenith Flare there, but I just hoping that we draw more cycling cards and not land. Okay, so far so good. Alright, there's the land. Alright. Just gonna hope that these Zenith Flares can carry us. Mmm. Not with that card, they probably won't. And a savior. <clears throat> yep, this is just turning into an absolute slugfest here. Jeez. Oh, my God. Guys, this is just terrible. I mean, just absolutely terrible. We have been on the shorthand of so many draws so far. And we're dead if they don't kill. Actually, we're dead anyway, so... Just an absolutely brutal draw there from for the opponent. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this has just been terrible. <laughs> Guess I'll play one more. If I can lose some more rank. Looks like opponent is a Lurus deck. Might be rogues. All right, keep this hand.
opponent with the fiery red shadow sleeves. Are you mono red with rogues? I don't think so somehow. Blue land. So probably rogues. <laughs> All right. I think we play the stingers here. Might kill it. That's fine. If they do. Top thief. Yep. And now they're going to kill the stinger. Yep. And they mill a Niffler. Hmm. Oh, not a good start for us. I guess I'll play a Rescuer here. Because I can get a definite 1-1 one -one from it. Are they thinking about countering this? If they are, if they do, I'm really happy. They do, wow. Okay. That's interesting. So they, they're that afraid of the rescuer, huh? Interesting. They, they probably have more counter spells in their hand, I'm sure. Let me buy the lures. I'm thinking for the lures to get back right now. All right, they mill up the lands. Good. Monzi flankers. Nope. They have nothing to get back with the Lurus right now, so I'm not exactly scared of it. I think we play the Stinger here. Start trying to deal a little bit of damage to their face. Do you have an into the story? Question mark? Opponent hasn't milled any more Zines flares. Ow. Alright, cycle a development. Ooh, actually, I think I want to hold that because I want a double stinger if they don't have removal for them. They're probably holding up, I'm sure they're holding up a counter magic and a into the story here. And if they have it, then not a whole lot we can do to stop it. I'm not going to attack because they might have another Thought Thief as well. Enforcer, okay. Interesting. They mill <laughs> ah, should have drawn. Milled another Zenith Flare. with both. Land, nice. No blocks. Down to 11. Alright, opponents finally using their passage. Wanna, oh my gosh, okay. I want to take a stinger. Alright, well, we do a lot of damage to them in the process. Hopefully, we can draw a flare. Would be a good draw. No such luck so far. Still no luck. Hey, it's a flare. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we go for, we definitely go for the win here. Opponent has no blue open, as you guys can see, maybe. Am 
I have a cling to dust, so I'm gonna steal another thing. And we're going for the win here. Whew. All right, took care of rogues again. I'm gonna move my head again, guys. Whew, tough day in the arena for me personally, guys. Um, we kind of got beat around. Um, not gonna lie, I'm gonna take a lot of the games that we just drew very, very badly. Um, so again, what do I think of the deck, guys? Um, I think it's an okay deck in standard. I mean, it's obviously not the best deck in standard. Oh, I gotta move my head again so you guys can see the deck. Sorry about that, guys. Move my head back over there. Um, like I said, you guys can upgrade it with these uh, cards over here. Um, a lot of them, you know, just fix your mana. Luris obviously gives you the option to bring stuff back. Um, and... Um, we did take care of rogues twice today, guys. Um, two and zero against rogues, but we did um, kind of get slapped around by uh, and, and by everything else. So, um, just a tough day. We flood flood out a lot. Um, you guys could try um, cutting the land. I, I found that today I flooded out a lot, um, and I don't. I mean, there's only twenty two land, and I still managed to flood out. So. Um, if you guys want, you guys can try cutting it down to 20, maybe even a little bit less if you guys want. I just find that when I cut it down that low, I always, always, always get mana screwed by this game. So I'm just not doing it. Um, uh, again, tough day in the arena for me, guys. But for you budget players, I definitely think this is the deck for you. This is the best deck um, if you're not looking to spend any wild cards on decks. So, um, yeah, definitely check this deck out. Give it a roll for yourself, guys. Um, you know... Like I said, I definitely think this deck can st can still contend with a lot of the great decks in the format. Um, if you if you're on if you get a good draw, um, you know I just personally didn't have very many of those today. Um, so uh, yeah, again, budget players, this is for you. Um, again, guys, just at the end of the video, I'm going to ask, please feel free to you know comment down below what you would like to see from the channel in the future. And um, you know you, this the first couple of years of the channel will get a lot of say in what I play because you guys are just the first ones that have supported me. And um, so I thank you for that. And again, I'm just asking you guys to leave um, your um, leave comments below on what, you know, things I could, things I could do better, um, more decks I could play, you know, YouTubers um, decks that I could play. Um, just give me ideas of, um, of what you want to see. So if you guys were entertained with this video, please consider um, subscribing to the channel. Every new subscriber counts, guys. Um, you know, obviously we don't have very many of them right now, but, um, if you like the content, please consider doing that. I'll leave a, leave a comment below again and like the video and, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, this is Nate Great signing off and you guys have a good one. See you in the next video.